I'd love to to hear a bit. Why don't we Why don't we bring this in now? A bit of your self care routine that um, really is fundamental to keeping yourself well, no matter where you are. Because I know your work takes yourself takes you traveling, I guess, around the yeah. area as well, even internationally sometimes as yeah. well. What is a part of your self-care routine that you really love and you rarely miss? Yeah. Okay. So there's a couple of things. Um, you know, I, I have to move my body and I'm really into mm. the moment. Um, I used to absolutely, you know, kill myself at the gym over exercising and eating. Um, but now I'm really focused on Pilates and yoga and I just love, uh, and it's not, um, you know, I'm not a vinyasa girl, I'm a yin girl. And it's the going inward to move your body and just take my time so I think that's so important so I try to practice that wherever I am uh, at least you know, twice or three times or at the moment I'm actually managing a little bit more each week which is surprising considering I'm heavily pregnant but it's so good for my mental well-being as well as physical um, I'm a big um, senses person so if I'm feeling overwhelmed or my nervous system is heightened I usually break out in a rash I may have a little rash now because when I tell my personal story it can trigger a response in my nervous system so I'm now five years on from my collapse but it's interesting uh, for the listeners to understand that people always ask me in my workshops or at events when will I heal and I say like, healing is not a linear journey I've had many setbacks and um, one of the things I really love is um, grounding senses um, smells so I use a lot of essential oils herbal teas and I uh, before anything like before this podcast I was outside barefoot grounding myself and straight after this I will go outside barefoot and sometimes if I've done a long event or I can feel my body uh, the tension I take a cold shower because that brings me back into my body and just reminds me I'm safe I'm well and uh, you know I love meditation and mindfulness um, so there's some of the kind of practical things I do um, also lean on my support network um, my coaches, my mentors, um, if I catch myself starting to fall into a negative loop of thoughts, mm -hmm. I'm really adept now of going, okay, maybe I'll contact my psychologist um, right. and just book in a few sessions because I don't want to relax or fall back yes. into negative. And I think that over the last five years, I've managed to catch myself enough that mm. I haven't fallen into that burnout trap. And yeah. ultimately, I am an overworker and higher tree achiever. So yes. it's going to be interesting this year, Joe, as I move into you know maternity and motherhood, mm. how mm. I uh, manage myself, not to burn myself out and, and put too much pressure. But yeah, anyone that's experienced burnout before, it's a, it's a constant journey to mm. map and manage that.